everyone and welcome to Wrestling Show then here on the W3L Network. Thank you for joining me, thank you for having hit that subscribe button. And a special thank you if you're coming out to see us this coming Saturday, 6 day time, up in Elgin. We are finally getting back to one of our favourite venues and we are bringing you packed night of Worldwide Wrestling League action. We've already announced two matches for this event. In light of what happened just a couple of weeks ago here on Wrestling Showdown, of course the confrontation that you saw last week, we will see a rematch between Roderick Jones and the exile Luke Aldridge. Aldridge lost to Jones right here on Showdown and wants to redress that balance. Will Jones defeat the exile twice in a row or will Aldridge get the revenge that he craves? You'll find out by being there in Elgin. In addition to that, we have a 10-man championship rumble. We will crown ourselves a brand new wrestling showdown champion. Which of these men will it be? Again, you'll find out by being there in Elgin this coming Saturday. Plus, of course, loads more matches happening as well. Pick up your tickets from our website. We want to thank our sponsor for this event, Crafty Connoisseur. They sponsor all of our live events. So check out their social media, make a purchase from them, tell them we said loan. Of course, if you're someone you know wants to sponsor a W3L event, because remember we've got some at the end of the year, get in touch with how you can make that happen. And those events at the end of the year on the 27th, 28th and 29th of December, yes, it's a W3L tradition. We're going to Kinghorn, we're going to Broxburn, we're going to Gala Shields. Three amazing events for your post-Christmas law. As I always say, nothing happens between Christmas and New Year, so you might as well come out and watch some fantastic live W3L Pro Wrestling. More news on those events in the next couple of weeks. Now, speaking of uh, coming events, again, as you saw in the graphic for the Championship Rumble, two of the men that are going to be involved in that match are Roderick Jones and the original Craig Stevens. Jones, of course, will have to compete against the XL Luke Aldridge earlier in the night, but he's in action this week here on Showdown, and he is defending his much-prized breakout championship. Craig Stevens has been angling to get himself a title of some kind, and every attempt to be a champion, be it the heavyweight champion, tag team champion, showdown champion, every time it has not gone in Craig Stevens' favour. This week he challenges for the breakout championship, but can his luck change? Can Craig Stevens become the new breakout champion, or is Roderick Jones going to continue his reign and go on with momentum on his side to face Luke Aldridge this coming Saturday? There's only one way for us to find out. Let's get down to ringside for this week's match. Ladies and gentlemen, Gentlemen, this is Joe Forde, see if you on Wrestling Showdown. We've got a match for that championship right there, the Breakout Championship. It's the defending champion, Roderick Jones, take on the challenge of the original Craig Stevens. Now we saw Roderick Jones just a couple of weeks ago uh, in a, a non-title match against uh, Luke Aldridge. Jones got the win, Aldridge not happy because we saw last week that um, Luke Aldridge would then intimidate Roderick Jones' twin brother, head referee Jamie Jones, and say this uh, war, I guess you'd call it, between he and Jones was not over. And so they are going to collide this coming Saturday in Elgin. As Craig Stevens controls the rest already. So they've got a, a match scheduled. Roderick Jones going into that, and he would love to beat Craig Stevens and gain some momentum as he heads to Elgin to face the exile Luke Aldridge. Stevens takes down uh, Roderick Jones there. Now in the case of Craig Stevens, as we've seen over the past few months here in WFL, 
he has been getting more and more desperate to hold a championship and you might think it's a bit weird he's going for the breakout remember the breakout championship is designed or at least initially was designed for the sort of newer members of the roster the younger members of the roster uh, effectively you can only challenge for it if you've never held a title in WCL and oh hang on Craig Stevens immediately goes for cover doesn't get it though and as long as Stevens has been around WCL which has been quite a while he's never held a title and he's been desperately trying we saw him confront the tag team champions TG Rage and Krieger TG Rage still on the shelf still out injured thanks to Craig Stevens because Krieger's out uh, thanks to Craig Stevens as well we saw him try and lift the wrestling showdown title as a lovely back suplex from Roderick Jones and he goes for a cover so it was Stevens and Saki Bali that basically claimed they were going to be co-wrestling showdown champion and of course that didn't happen so he is eligible to challenge for the breakout title but none of his title aspirations have worked out so far and Roderick Jones has proven himself to be uh, quite the competitor again overcoming former wrestling showdown champion former tag team champion Luke Holdridge Stevens catches him a kick to the gut a big forearm by Craig Stevens. I think Stevens is getting arguably uh, more and more dead. Oh, oh, reversed it in the short arm clothesline. And the game goes right for the cover, hooks a leg, but Jones kicks out. I think as Stevens gets more desperate to become a champion of some kind, then he's becoming arguably more and more vicious. He's, he's taking less care about his opponents and is willing to do whatever it takes. Stomps right in the sternum. Roderick Jones, I mean, as Craig Stevens yet again goes for a cover, it's a hallmark of Craig Stevens. Roderick Jones in for the fight of his life here. Now, one of these men has a massive opportunity because, as you know, as Craig Stevens nearly takes his jaw off there and Elgin this coming Saturday both of these men are going to be part of the 10 man number we will crown ourselves a brand new wrestling show the hang on lovely northern light suplex with absolute ease nearly wrapped it up I don't know if Stevens Nestle had him pressed down quite enough what a display of power Stevens as I said this before he's in the gym nearly every single day and he's not a giant man necessarily but he is so muscular so powerful He's so deadly as well. Jones managed to get his foot up to stop and moves out the way. Oh, roll up! This is how he beat Aldridge! But doesn't manage to beat Craig Stevens. Grabs him. And look at the ease which Stevens left some with a German suplex. Folds him in half. Covers Roderick Jones. Are we going to get a new champion? Not yet. And you see the frustration. Stevens hates the fact that he's unable to win a title. I don't know if it's psychological, I don't know if it's just when he's on the cusp, suddenly something inside him almost like torpedoes his own chances, I really don't know. But certainly it's not through lack of ability. As we're saying, both of these men, part of the 10 man rumble and Elgin, we will crown a new wrestling showdown champion. So somebody's got the chance to walk away potentially as a double champion. Roderick Jones hung up to dry and so close to the ropes I think that's just partly the arrogance of Craig oh, wait, look at this drags him out of the way I don't think he was entirely paying attention initially far too close to the ropes was Roderick Jones got a foot on it but when Stevens realised he pulled Jones away and don't underestimate Roderick Jones he's been a superb breakout champion he's defended a title against all comers Again, beating Luke Aldridge recently. It's, oh, blocking it. Roderick Jones, one of the real unsung heroes of WCL. And a nice vertical suplex of his own. And considering the beating he's taking, considering the way that Craig Stevens has knocked him around, Jones still able to fire back, not able to follow up, unfortunately. But he has got heart and resilience. Roderick Jones, he is the heart of W3L. I think that's fair to say. And there's nobody quite like him, one of the hardest working men in the organisation. As the crowd on his side. 
comes charging in and just runs through Craig Stevens. And a back elbow takes him down. He's acquired his target. And he nails that shoulder block and he does it with some force and follows up with a falling reverse neck breaker. And Jones now goes to the cover. But the original able to power out. Again, Craig Stevens such a powerful man. Can lift incredible amounts. And so it's not that hard for him if he has his wits about him to be able just to shove his opponent off him. What is Jones going for? Oh, it could be the silencer. But no, Craig Stevens. Oh, kick to the back of the knee. Look at the raw power of the original. Hoist him on the shoulder. Running power slam drives down Jones. And Stevens doesn't try and pin him. What is he doing here? Has he got more bad intentions? A double throat slap. Hoists. Rodri oh my god. Gets him in that crucifix bomb position. And Roderick Jones. He gets dumped in his head. He may have a broken neck. Craig Stevens covers Roderick Jones. And the pinfall is elementary. What a way to end this contest. Craig Stevens drops Roderick Jones almost right on top of his skull. I don't know if Jones will be able to make it to Elgin this coming Saturday, but Craig Stevens has finally achieved his goal. He finally holds a championship in the World Wide Wrestling League. He has done what he said he would do. Now we're going to hear from the original. We have a brand new breakout champion in the form of the original Craig Stevens. He looked absolutely merciless in that contest there against Roderick Jones. Well, Jones bounced back to get a victory over Luke Aldridge this Saturday in Elgin. Well, Craig Stevens walk out of Elgin with two championships. Jones, Stevens and a whole lot more are involved in that 10-man championship rumble to crown ourselves a brand new wrestling showdown champion. Who's it going to be? Your guess, ladies and gentlemen, is as good as mine. But if you're there this Saturday in Elgin, you will find out. Again, tickets are available from our website, as are fantastic W3L t-shirts. There's a whole range of fantastic designs, some for specific wrestlers, some for W3L itself. Get your hands on one of these amazing shirts and of course if you want to see more of what we do check out the WCL box office it has got some of the biggest WCL events of all time available for you to rent, buy or binge to your heart's content new things go up all the time Resolution 14 from just a matter of weeks ago is already there for you to watch and we will be having more added in the next couple of months or so so check out the W3L box office and then of course pick up a t-shirt pick up some DVDs if that's what you like and pick up tickets to our live events be it this Saturday or the three we have at the end of the year and you can do that by checking out our website it's w3lwrestling.com make your purchase there and send to the mailing list while you're at it give us a like on Facebook follow us on Twitter join us over on Instagram of course, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and use that hashtag to talk about this episode. Craig Stevens is your new breakout champion. Who should be the first person to challenge him for that title? Who's going to walk out of Elgin as the new wrestling showdown champion? Tell us what you think and uh, engage with us here at W3 and then come back in seven days' time. We've got a big episode of Wrestling Showdown for you. 
It's going to be one that you do not want to miss. Make sure you're back here next Sunday at 12 o'clock for Wrestling Showdown.